Simone Biles Olympic cast members emerge from U.S. trials. St. Louis, a sea of cell phones rose in the stands at the Dome of America's Center, focused on the show's topping gymnast below, Simone Biles. Ushers and other event staff members poured in from the concourse to the edge of the stands to get a peek at her. They wanted to see her, film her, appreciate her in some way on the day she finished first at the U.S. Olympic women's gymnastics trials, as expected, and earned a spot on her second Olympic team, as expected. In Tokyo, she will defend her Olympic all-around title from the 2016 Games. If she wins gold again, Biles will be the first woman to achieve that feat in more than 50 years. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. And if she is successful, her marathon winning streak will grow even longer. Biles, 24, hasn't lost an all-around competition since 2013, when she was just 16 and not yet a four-time Olympic gold medalist. That was long before she amassed 25 world championship medals to become the most decorated gymnast in history, long before she became so good that other gymnasts could only hope for second place in the all-around. Based on their recent performances, particularly at the trials, a team of gymnasts were chosen on Sunday to be her supporting cast in Tokyo. Sun Isa Lee Jordan Chiles and Grace McCallum were named to the squad that will compete alongside Biles in the team event, which the U.S. will try to win for the third consecutive games. Two other gymnasts, Jade Carey and Michaela Skinner, were named to the Olympic team as individual competitors. Biles and Lee earned automatic berths to the team by finishing first and second in the all-around at the trials. Carey had already secured her spot by virtue of her strong finish in the International Gymnastics Federation's World Cup Series. A USA gymnastics committee took about 30 minutes to choose the other Olympians. While Biles, Lee, and Chile's re-favorites to make the team, the recipient of the final spot for the team event in Tokyo was the biggest unknown going into the trials. In the end, McCallum, 18, from Asante, Minnesota, received the spot because her top scores gave the U.S. team the best chance at the gold medal. She finished fourth in the all-around, with strong finishes in all of the events. Sun Isa Lee, 18, from St. Paul, Minnesota, had been focused on making the Tokyo Olympics for years, and on Sunday night she did it for her father, just as she had envisioned. John Lee, her father, was watching in the arena from his wheelchair, amazed by Sun Isa's maturity and skill. It was just Sun Isa's second competition he had watched live since he fell from a ladder in 2019 and injured his spine. At nationals this month, John Lee, who is paralyzed from the chest down, said he couldn't be more proud of Sun Isa and of how she was able to excel in her sport since his accident. Sun Isa Lee's ultimate goal is to win an Olympic gold medal for her father, and she just might do it, but he can't travel to Tokyo to see that happen. No international spectators are allowed at the Games, so John Lee will have to marvel at his daughter from afar. She has a great shot at winning a gold medal on the uneven bars, the one event that is Biles' weakness. On Sunday night, Biles was far from perfect on more than just the uneven bars. She wobbled and bobbled on the four-inch wide balance beam before grabbing it with her hands and then jumping down. She had hops on the landings of both of her vaults. On the floor exercise, during which she flew so high on her tumbling passes that she seemed to threaten to scrape the roof, she stepped out of bounds twice. Her teammate, Chili's, 20, of Vancouver, Washington, stepped in to provide consistency. Since the start of this year, Chili's has performed 24 of 24 routines without a major mistake, an amazing accomplishment in a sport with such minuscule margin for error. When she nailed her floor exercise routine to end her night, she bent over and put her hands on her knees in a mix of relief and exhilaration. She had done everything she could to show the selection committee that she deserved a trip to Tokyo. And it turned out to be more than enough. At Biles' invitation, Chili's moved to Texas in 2019 to train with Biles to get out of her gymnastics rut. It now appears to be the best decision she has ever made. She and Biles grew as close as family both in and out of the gym, and Chili's sister, Jasmine, even applied the duo's makeup and coiffed their hair for trials. The fans who packed the arena snapped photos and videos of Biles in that makeup and hairdo. And after Biles finished her last event of the night, the floor exercise, the crowd rose in a standing ovation to salute her. 
On a night when Biles was not perfect, she was still the biggest star. Good morning to you guys and we just got a statement now from USAG saying Simone has withdrawn from the team final competition due to a medical issue they say she will be assessed daily to determine medical clearance for future competitions. We know that this happened following a rough performance on the vault just moments ago. She was seen walking off the floor huddling with her teammates and then speaking with her trainer. After that we saw Simone returning back to the arena. She put her sweat pants back on. She took off uh, what she was going to use to to compete against the uneven bars and then her teammate stepped in Jordan Childs during that part of the competition I have to say she had a stellar performance and you could see Simone there cheering her on congratulating her for stepping in and doing so well for the team all of this we should mention comes after a pretty rocky performance during the preliminaries where we saw Simone Biles taking to Instagram to say she felt like she had the weight of the world on her shoulders she talked about how much pressure she felt and she has spoken previously about how difficult it is to compete without her family present because of the COVID restrictions. Her loved ones were, of course, forced to stay behind, as were all the athletes, uh, friends and families back in the States. But this is a huge blow to Team USA with the future of the Olympian unknown. She was set to compete in the individual all around on Thursday. This is where she was hoping, of course, to bring home another gold. So we will have to see on a daily basis where she ends up with this, George. But um, certainly... get injured so I thought it was best if these girls took over and did the rest of the job which they absolutely did they're Olympic silver medalists now and they should be really proud of themselves for how well they did last minute having to go in um, and it's been really stressful this Olympic Games I think just as a whole um, not having an audience there are a lot of different variables going into it it's been a long week it's been a long Olympic process it's been a long year um, so just a lot of different variables, and I think we're just a little bit too stressed out. Um, but we should be out here having fun, and sometimes that's not the case. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat, uh, work on my mindfulness, and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job, and I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw-ups because they've worked way too hard for that. So I just decided that the, those girls need to go in and do the rest of the